good morning and greetings and welcome to all so this is basaura dirachiti again with you for lecture number 3 of mechanical system engineering of unit 1 for fe and mechanical students particularly for ap mechan ap students <clears throat> this basic mechanical system of energy engineering so lecture number 3 we are going to deal with nuclear power plant with five slides before prior to that we'll just uh, have a revision what we were we taught in learn in lecture number 2 okay so in lecture number 2 just i will take this uh, broad view so we have seen this uh, energy sources and uh, types of way and lecture number 2 slide number 3 so working of thermal power plant this thermal power plant is uh, number com components of the thermal main components you no need to write all this record over there and so so main four components are turbine boiler stay pump and condenser you have to write the function of each boiler to convert the uh, water into steam with the help of uh, burning of coal and this steam is being utilized to convert this uh, 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 heat energy of a uh, steam into mechanical energy by means of rotation of the blades of the turbine and this mechanical energy is further converted into electric energy by means of connecting it to the generator the function of the generator is to uh, convert mechanical energy into in electrical energy the function of the turbine is to convert heat energy into mechanical energy so the steam which is coming out of the turbine is condensed in the condenser the function of the condenser is to condense it the con uh, exhaust steam from the turbine and that condensate or feed water is being pumped back to boiler so that is the function of the condenser so the function of the pump is to uh, send uh, or take take the uh, feed water or condense it from the condenser and feed it to the boiler so again the the the, the cycle repeats so this cycle is uh, nothing but a rankine cycle as shown in figure 1 2 3 4 okay one so this is i uh, briefly again explained it with the help of line diagram that is about the working principle of thermal power plant components of the thermal power plant reverse circulating water pump condenser heat heater economizer heater economizer and superheater not shown it but you can mention if you required otherwise you no need to mention so the main components uh, four components you can explain boiler turbine generator okay so this is about the components of thermal power plant so then we saw the merits and the demerits of the uh, thermal power plant and then the sub basic formula plant efficiency output upon input then uh, based on this formula we have solved these two examples on this uh, those very simple examples and very simple questions so you don't uh, uh, leave this point because uh, four marks suppose if you are getting within 5 minutes you can solve this within 5 to 10 minutes whereas for the theory for uh, you will take more time so don't leave the uh, numerical part so then we have seen this some mcqs and descriptive questions and for your uh, for your uh, exam point of view now we are going to start uh, going to start with the lecture number 3 today that is a, a slide number 3 of uh, this mechanical system engineering that is a nuclear power plant so same so this uh, nuclear power plant and core power plant or thermal power plant are uh, re non renewable source uh, uh, based on non renewable source of energy that is a uh, exhaustible and conventional type of uh, sources of energy okay so so in the first slide we are going to see the com what are the principle of working of this nuclear power plant and then what are the components uh, this just and merits and demerits of the okay just a minute okay so now we'll start with this uh, principle what is the nuclear power plant and what is the main introductory part we just go to uh, go through nuclear power is a clean and efficient way of boiling water uh, to make steam which turn turbines to produce electricity so in thermal power plant we have seen directly 
the pole is fed to the boiler and convert water into steam. In this case, there are two circuits, one primary circuit you can say and the secondary circuit. In the secondary circuit, the heat from the nuclear energy is being taken to convert water into steam. So nuclear power plants use uh, this low enriched uranium fuel to produce electricity through a process called fission process. The splitting of uranium atoms in a nuclear reactor means splitting of one atom into two or one nuclei into two nuclei. So by means of splitting of this uranium atoms, a huge energy is being um, uh, produced or come out and that is being used to convert into steam for electricity. Uranium, so this is the primary energy source. Uranium fuel consists of small hard ceram uh, ceramic plates uh, that are packaged into long vertical tubes. Bundles of these fuel are inserted into the reactor in the form of fuel rod. A single uranium pellet, slightly larger than a pencil in the eraser, it contains the same energy as a ton of coal, three barrels of oils, or 70,000 cubic per feet of natural gas. So this is for your reference only. You should know how much the amount of energy by the, this uh, an, uh, eraser uh, um, type um, of uranium consists of, of a ton of coal and three barrels of oil or a 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. That much tremendous energy is contained by that uranium. Each uranium fuel plate provides up to five years of heat for power generation. And because Uranium is one of the world's, world's most abundant metals. It can provide fuel for the world's commercial nuclear power for generations to come. So it is very important. So what are the nuclear power plant, working principle of nuclear power plant, and what are the components of nuclear power plant? We are going to see in brief. You have no need to write in detail or it is required in second year or final year of EP mechanical engineering for mechanical engineering students. But for first year, you just know the basic uh, figure and what are the components and uh, in brief about the functions of each of the component. So nuclear, so in this nuclear power plant consists of a nuclear reactor, heat exchanger, steam turbine, and alternator means it is also called a generator. Okay, so the again, main components, nuclear reactor, heat exchanger, steam turbine, and generator plus condenser and pump, they are in the secondary circuit. So the, this is the primary circuit, just I'm showing you here. So this is the primary circuit and this is the secondary circuit. So primary circuit produces the heat and the, that heat is being utilized in the secondary circuit in the exchanger and then to convert into electricity. So this is the main uh, principle of working of the nuclear power plant. Okay, so let us see what is the First function, what are the components and what are, uh, what are the components? Okay, before going to the components, just in brief, I will explain the working of uh, this uh, nuclear power plant. So in the nuclear reactor, this uranium is placed in the form of fuel rod. There are moderators, there are coolants, and all these things, you don't need to worry about it. Only you say that in the nuclear reactor, this uh, splitting of the uranium uh, atoms into uh, two or number of uh, pieces, what happens, a uh, huge energy is being uh, produced as we see in, that, in the form of pellets. So that energy is being taken by the one fluid that is called as a coolant. So this is in, the, that coolant takes this uh, uh, heat energy in the form of hot metal uh, to the heat exchanger and it gives the heat to the water inside the uh, tubes. And uh, outside the tubes, are, you can say that this is the hot metal coolant or there is another uh, coil, you can say. In, through this coil, this uh, uh, hot metal or hot coolant, heavy coolant, you can say, passes through. And the secondary circuit, which consists of this again, the coil where the water is being converted into steam and that steam is taken to the turbine to uh, rotate it and convert it into uh, mechanical energy and this mechanical energy is further connected to alternator or generator is converted into electricity which is sent to bus bar 
and for our useful purpose. So after that, uh, so this hot metal or hot coolant, or it is called as a heavy coolant water, is taken after we get cooled and by means of a pump, it is being fed, fed back to the reactor for again getting the heat from the reactor from the fissioning process. In this way, this cycle completes. So this is the primary circuit. In the primary circuit, you will be see, you can say that the components are nuclear reactors, uh, coolant or hot, hot, uh, hot metal. You can say heavy heavy water. You can say or heavy hot coolant. You can say heavy coolant, heavy coolant. You can say and then heat exchanger and a pump and with the filter. So in this this coolant circulates in this way. To uh, so as to give its heat to the secondary circuit. So this is the primary circuit. In the secondary circuit, the heat obtained from this fissioning process is being extracted by the water in the heat exchanger. It is nothing but a boiler. So this boiler takes the heat from the uh, heavy wa water or heavy coolant and converts into steam. And in the secondary circuit, as in thermal power plant, it is given to turbine to convert into mechanical energy and generator through generator to convert into electrical energy. So like that, then the exhaust steam is being taken to the condenser. This, with the help of cooling circuit, this steam gets cooled and this cooled water is being again fed to the boiler for generation of steam. So in this way, there are two circuits. One is the primary circuit, another is a secondary circuit, which uh, the main intention is that nuclear energy is to be converted into electrical energy. So nuclear energy becomes the primary energy and the electricity becomes the secondary energy. So nuclear energy, how it's converted in? This nuclear energy goes to heat energy. Heat energy is converted into so mechanical energy and mechanical energy into electrical energy. Okay, so this is the in brief about the working principle of nuclear power plant. Now we'll see the components and their functions in brief. So there are two, four main components of the this primary circuit or nuclear power plant. One is the nuclear reactor. Second is the heat exchanger. Third is the steam turbine you have taken. And fourth one is the generator. So in the nuclear reactor is the main component of nuclear power plant. Is nuclear fuel is subjected to nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is a process where a heavy nucleus is split into two or smaller, more smaller nuclei. A heavy isotope, generally uranium-235, is used as a nuclear fuel in the nuclear reactor because it has the ability to control the chain reaction in the nuclear reactor. Nuclear fission is done by bombarding uranium nuclei with slow-moving neutrons. As you have studied in the 12th standard, the energy released by the fusion of the nuclei is called as the nuclear fusion energy or nuclear energy. By the breaking of the uranium atom, tremendous amount of heat energy and radiation is formed in the reactor and the chain reaction is continuously running. It means, so there is a no stoppage of this uh, reaction. It will, once it started, then it is endless. So the chain reaction is continuously in process. It is controlled by a reactor controlled chain reaction. So it is called as a control rods, not shoot in the figure. So it is controlled by a reactor controlled chain reaction. A large amount of fission neutrons are removed in this process. Only small undermundum fission energy is used to generate the electric power. Heat, second one is the heat exchange. Coolant is used to raise the temperature, uh, raise the heat of the heat exchanger which is utilized in the raising the steam. After that, it goes back to the reactor. So here we have shown hot metal and again cold metal. Means that is a coolant. Steam turbine. The function of the steam turbine as steam is coming from the heat exchanger to fade into the steam turbine through the wall. After that, steam is exhausted to the condenser. This condensed steam is fed to the heat exchanger through feed water pump. Okay. So function of the alternator is uh, coupled to uh, an, uh, the steam turbine is coupled to an alternator or generator, which converts this mechanical energy into electrical energy. The output of alternator produces electric energy to bus bar. Okay. And it is being sent to uh, like, there are so many uh, components in this alternator again. 
like transformer, circuit breakers, isolators, etc. We no, no need to explain that one or no need to worry about that. So this is in brief about the working of a nuclear power plant. So now I hope you can easily uh, if the question is asked, what is a nuclear power plant and uh, uh, draw a neat sketch of nuclear power plant and uh, explain in brief about the working principle. Second question may be asked, what are the components of nuclear power plant? Give the function of each in brief. So these four main components you can mention, no problem. So next topic is that the merits and the merits of the nuclear power plant. As we discussed each time, we have to see this uh, new uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, each plant or each uh, item which we are going to discuss. So advantages are needs less space. Fuel consumption is very, very small compared to other uh, thermal power plant. Hence transportation and storage charges are low. We well suited for large power demands and less workmen required. Major disadvantages sir, capital cost is very high because uranium is very costly and also it is a very harmful for the human being and the atmosphere. So it has to be bombarded. The pigeoning process is, for the pigeoning process, you will require special uh, device, special material is being used for that. And whatever the uh, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma rays, or uh, the rays which are coming out of the fusion process are very dangerous to health and atmosphere uh, environment. Hence, the care is to be taken to use the material uh, special material to take care of this uh, uh, ultraviolet rays or uh, very dangerous rays. So that is called as radioactivity rays. So radioactive waste. So after if it is not disposed properly, uh, adverse effects on environment and maintenance cost is uh, naturally because of uh, this uh, uh, harm, harmful uh, uh, rays are being uh, uh, continuously uh, coming out. So maintenance part of this also goes very high. That's the, that is sufficient for the nuclear power plant. This is a lecture number three of the, uh, this chapter number one, energy and energy sources. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So quizzes uh, again, sorry, there's a MCQ is there. There is nuclear energy. So you can just go through this. Nuclear energy is obtained by fission process, heating process, cooling process, and then above all, it is a fission process. Nuclear fission RM takes place in heat exchanger, reactor, condenser, boiler. It is in reactor. Nuclear energy is converted into potential energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, heat energy. So the answer is heat energy. Fission process is splitting of neutrons, splitting of nuclear, splitting of electrons, and splitting of two nuclei. So it is a splitting of nuclear it is combination uh, splitting of two nuclear or nuclear heat is transported from reactor to heat exchanger by moderators thermal shields fuel rods or coolant so it is the answer is coolant so he, so this is uh, uh, about the uh, nuclear power plant i hope you understood any doubts which can be can be clear, clarified later on through mail or through the direct speech okay thank you thank you very much